Bugatti spacecraft and a man. It was April 2015. The center was poised to implement the productionization of spacecraft in its true sense. With this challenge on board, the winds of change were blowing over Isaac. There was change at the helm of affairs at Isaac with Dr. M. Anadurai taking over mantle as Director Isaac on 1st April 2015. Looking back today, as he lays down his office on superannuation, the daunting task of building 30 spacecraft including 6 student satellites in 40 months beside 2 to 3 spacecraft being in the final stages of readiness presents a scenario of productionization having completely ushered in the center. This achievement coupled with technology developments in forward area of satellite technology and infrastructure growth and a myriad of other activities stand out as scintillating plume in his cap of many achievements. Mahil Swami Anadurai was born on the 2nd of July 1958 in Kodavari near Pulachi in Coimbatore. Mahil Swami Anadurai had a schooling in his native village Kodavari. He obtained a bachelor in engineering degree in the year 1980 from the Government College of Technology, completed his master's degree in engineering during 1982 from PSG College of Technology and a PhD from Anna University of Technology. He joined ISRO in 1982. In his early days at Isaac, he was the team leader for development of software for Satellite Simulator. During the period 1988 to 1993, he had done incredible work as spacecraft operations manager for IRS-1A. IRS 1B, INSAT 2A, and INSAT 2B. During the period 1992 to 2005, he led the ISRO's mission team as mission director and managed 10 INSAT missions. During the period 2004 to 2008, as the project director for ISRO's first lunar mission, Chandrayaan 1. He led a team of engineers and scientists that designed and developed a lunar craft with 11 scientific instruments on board from ISRO and NASA, ESA, JAXA and Bulgarian Academy of Sciences for chemical, mineralogical and photogeologic mapping of the entire lunar surface at high spatial and spectral resolutions. The project was realized within the time frame stipulated and the budget granted. The project has won many appreciations and national and international awards, including the prestigious Space Pioneer Award 2009 for its innovative cost-effective design, international cooperation and the historical discovery of water on the moon. <laughs> In 2011, Dr. Anadurai took over as Program Director of Indian Remote Sensing, Space Science and Small Satellites Program. He was the driving force behind the successful realization of many state-of-the-art satellite projects including Mars Orbiter Mission, ResourceSat 2, Megatropics, RISAT-1, Saral, etc. Under his leadership as program director, India's first interplanetary mission to planet Mars, Mars Orbiter Mission, was meticulously planned and realized. The scintillating success of MOM has brought unprecedented global accolades, spiraling India to the pinnacle of glory. Within a few days of taking over as director Isaac, he took several initiatives for effective project management and overall organizational growth and development. Unique project management techniques such as 
satellite project lifecycle dashboard and photo gallery of ongoing center activities in Samwad web portal for better transparency and quick dissemination of information to all concerned were launched by Dr. Anadurai. He envisioned building of 10 spacecraft a year through his unique concept of Pancharatna. Then what is the Pancharatna? I think only very people talked about that. And uh, uh, probably in the dashboard also, so we are trying to indicate, I'm trying to introduce a wider audience. Okay, because as I told here, everyone has the reason to contribute for this Pancharatnas. Once you identify what is this Pancharatna, that name, whatever it is that, either in terms of the purchase file, either in terms of accounts clearance, either in terms of security clearance, I think this Pancharatna should get a priority. Which in course graduated to Navaratna, meaning nine spacecraft AIT at any given point of time. Project lifecycle management compliance framework, milestone charts, project monitoring committee, subsystem realization task team, subsystem workload analysis, ISAC vision 2020 and beyond, infrastructure planning, etc. are a few among the various tools introduced by him for effective project management and strategic planning. It is perhaps the first time that such an integrated approach to planning project, infrastructure, production was adopted in the center. Frequent visits by Director Isaac and other key functionaries to labs and work spots not only hastened the activities but also provided the much needed thrust and motivation to employees. He effectively met the organizational need to restructure the center in time with the demands of the activities by carving out new areas like MISA, CMMA and SRQA. A number of knowledge management initiatives such as Isaac Innovation Forum, Isaac Innovation Club, Spark and Lesson Learned Workshops were taken up during his tenure as director to inculcate the culture of innovation, improvisation and excellence. A path-breaking development during his tenure was signing of contract with a consortium of Indian industries for outsourcing of AIT of two satellites. Taking forward, the center also signed parallel contracts with three vendors for the outsourcing of AIT activities of different types of satellites. With this, the long-standing vision of end-to-end -end satellite realization through industry will soon become a reality. This apart, a contract has also been signed with a few vendors for bulk production and supply of avionics packages on an end-to-end -end basis to feed our satellite projects. Many other contracts aimed at enduring a continuous supply chain of various subsystems and components were also put in place which includes outsourcing of harness fabrication, solar panel and battery fabrication, deployment mechanism, alignment activities, etc. Now technology developments are being pursued in the center both in project mode and non-project mode. Developments of note during his tenure include unfurlable antenna for GSAT-6, UVIT and SSM payload for AstroSat, I6K modular bus platform, heat pipe embedded large payload panels, large size solar panels, modular power electronic system, I6K spacecraft, indigenous bus bar, GRASP, geostationary radiation spectrometer payload for GSAT-19, indigenous satellite positioning system for CARTOSAT 2 series, etc. Indigenous TM and TC processor, 
Total Automation of Spacecraft Checkout Phase 1 Passive Vibration Isolator for Reaction Wheels Upgradation of High Bitrate Data Transmission System High Capacity Memory Modules and Encryption Systems High Accuracy Onboard Sensors Robotic Arm for Docking Experiments Fiber Optic Gyros High Precision Sensors including Critical technology developments for Chandrayaan-2 are some of the other milestone technology developments during his tenure. URSC has also been concentrating on creation of necessary infrastructure and facilities commensurate with its increase in project loads. Under his able leadership, the establishment of various high-end technical facilities, infrastructure projects such as assembly, Integration and Test Facility 2, Mechanical Systems Area, MSA Building, HDI Facility, Vertical Expansion of Avionics Production Building, 3.5 Ton Dynamic Test Facility, Harness Lab, Paint Booth Facility, Additive Manufacturing Facility, Fixture Storage Facility, EyeSight Fire Station, Hills Test Facility, etc. were realized. He has also initiated the work for extension to URSE Clean Room, extension to AIFT-1. Under his leadership, URSE has been given special thrust to work-life balance of its employees and a number of welfare activities were organized. Sponsorship to several in-house and external training programs, national and international seminars and conference, nominations for ISRO, ASI and external awards, service excellence awards, mandatory health checkups, yoga week, meditation classes, safety weeks, large-scale participation in inter-center sports meet were conducted during his tenure. His popular guidelines on how to conduct a meeting will remain watchwords for days to come. He had a great and impeccable dressing sense and always presented a positive image. Personally, every Isaacian will vouch to the fact that he was approachable to all levels, amicable in his interaction, devoid of air of the high position he held and had the unique talent to convey his thoughts with all seriousness and without force. Dr. Anudurai has received several awards and recognition for his extraordinary contribution to the Indian Space Program. Notable among them are ISRO Team Excellence Award 2007, ISRO Merit Award 2009, ISRO Team Excellence Award 2010, ISRO Outstanding Achievement Award 2014 National Aeronautical Award 2008 from the Aeronautical Society of India Rajatsava Award for Science 2008 from the Government of Karnataka Hari Om Ashram Prerit Vikram Sarabhai Research Award 2004 CPA Adityanar Literary Award 2013 Vivekananda Human Excellence Award 2014 from Ramakrishna Mission H.K. Ferodia Award 2007 Shri Chandra Shekharandra Saraswati National Eminence Award 2009 for Science and Technology American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics Space Systems Award 2009 Certificate of Appreciation from Boeing Asia America Professional Association USA and laurels for team achievement Chandrayaan 1 from the International Academy of Astronautics 2013 Beijing Times NRI Global Indian Award for Science 2017 IEI IEEE Award for Contributions and Leadership in Space Technology in Service to Humanity In a magnanimous gesture Dr. Anadurai donated the entire prize money of 5 lakh rupees of Union Bank Lifetime Achievement Award to the Ramakrishna Mission. Five universities have conferred Doctor of Science on him. He always encouraged 
visit of students community to URSC and interacted with thousands of students during his tenure as director URSC. He delivered several lectures and convocation addresses in various universities and academic institutions to inculcate scientific temperament in the young minds of the country. Dr. Anadurai is a fellow of the International Astronautical Federation, fellow of the Society for Shockwave Research and a member of the International Lunar Network Enabling Technologies Group. He is also chairman of the Indian Remote Sensing Society, ISRS, Bangalore Chapter. He has been awarded the prestigious Padma Shri 2016 for his contributions in the field of science and engineering by the President of India. He writes a regular column, Kayarge Sevai, Mars is at our reach, in the Tamil daily, Dina Tanti. Dr. Anandurai and his works are mentioned in the 10th Standard Science Textbook of Tamil Nadu. He had written several best-selling books on spacecraft in Tamil. Dr. Anandurai was listed as among the 100 Global Thinkers of 2014 and tops the innovators list. As a person and as a technology leader, Dr. Anandurai will stand out as a star in the galaxy of space pioneers in India. As a token of gratitude for leading the center from the front, the URSC community wishes him all happiness, peace, health and wealth and a fruitful retired life. URSC will remember him as a leader in whose tenure both the lightest and heaviest spacecraft ever to be built in the center saw light. He is the one who let the world know that 10 spacecraft in a year was not a joke on paper.